Hey guys, Meteor Rebels, Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. We're definitely into a spring pattern across the west. It's really a waiting game right now for the next storm of consequence, and that's not until 415 through 418 across a lot of the west. For example, here's the timing in the Wasatch. I'm forecasting heavy snow accumulation 415 through 418 in the Wasatch. In Colorado, I'm forecasting light to moderate snow accumulation 415 through 418 in the Sierra, light to moderate accumulation 412, 412 through 414, but mainly above 7,500 feet. So it's going to be warm at the onset of that storm system when it finally arrives. And let me just show it to you here in the jet stream forecast. So here's the forecast jet by close of business today. You can see a little bit of a trough right over parts of Colorado and New Mexico. Um, so there's a little bit of energy that's going to be dropping down through there, especially on Wednesday. I'll show you that coming up. But here's the jet on 410, close of business. A little bit of high pressure ridging here, 411, 412, 413. Here comes our storm hitting California, departs and moves into the interior, 415, 416, 417, and 418. There's probably a little bit of additional energy that comes in with that northern branch buckling. Pretty nice little uh, trough right there out of the northern branch by 418. So there's some action. Here's some action. Here's the forecast radar and satellite by 5.30 this afternoon. Look to the north into Wyoming and Montana. You see a little area of snow. It's going to drop south right through parts of Colorado and drop maybe an inch of, of accumulation or less right on top the continental divide on Wednesday. And then that moves away and then we've got a few days of high pressure ridging with very warm temperatures. Here comes our storm system, hits California with high snow levels. Then it begins to break loose on 415, moves into the interior with some light to moderate snow accumulation. Then there's some additional energy that comes in behind it, 417, 418 with that big trough. And you can kind of see it just sits there and spins for a while. And that would have some colder air with it, 417 and 418. Okay, latest numbers. My grand total map by late 418, um, in Colorado, light to moderate accumulations um, throughout the period. Um, in, the Wasatch obviously is a standout. Those numbers have trended up, um, looking at almost two feet of accumulation, 15 to 20, we'll call it there, through most of the, uh, the ski areas. Um, three to eight in the Tetons, pretty good numbers up through Big Sky and Bridger Bowl, looking at potentially 10 to 20 inches there. Um, and you can see the numbers in California really suffering um, from high snow levels. Okay, let me break it down by time period. All right, so here we go. This is 4.9 through 4.10. So basically today through tomorrow, it's very light. And you can see where I was talking about that little area of light snow, that front kind of drops down through Montana, Wyoming, and through Colorado with an inch or less of accumulation. Next time period. So this is 4.11 through 4.13, and it's, it's very, very light. You can see it. There's just a little bit up in B.C., and that's probably going to do it. All right, final time period is through 4.18, 4.14 through 4.18, and this is when we get those last two storm systems and that trough that kind of sits across the west. The numbers are, are pretty impressive in a couple of areas, um, parts of Colorado, especially the Wasatch, and look at Montana. Some of those numbers have definitely gone up. Okay, final stop. This is up in uh, the northeast, and again, mainly rain up here. Um, that's my fear for... 11, 4, 12, 4, 13 with very little snow accumulation. Again, just spring conditions. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate it and take care.